Hello again, friends. I don't know that we've heard clear plans yet, but I often read things these days about plans for the coronation of King Charles III in early May. During those events, certainly during preparations, royal staff will be asking him the question, what do you want me to do for you? How interesting is it then that when we read stories about Jesus, the King of Kings, we actually find him asking people who should be serving him what do you want me to do for you? When Jesus' disciples were conversing about who was the greatest in places of honor to sit beside Jesus, this was his question for them. And James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came to him. Teacher, they said, we want you to do for us whatever we ask. What do you want me to do for you? He asked them. Not long afterwards, when a blind man called out to Jesus for mercy, Jesus asked the same question. What do you want me to do for you? Jesus asked him. The blind man said, Rabbi, I want to see. Go, Jesus said. Your faith has healed you. In the first case, Jesus needed to expose the true cost of sitting in the place of honor, suffering and sacrificial death. In the second, Jesus used the question to reveal faith in who he was and what he was able to do for helpless individuals who put their trust in him. Where do we find ourselves in these two stories? Thinking we're more important than we really are and so feeling entitled to more? Or are we realizing our desperate need for Jesus to do something for us that we cannot do for ourselves? What do we want Jesus to do for us today? It's well worth a conversation with him. Loving God, you are the Lord of all and worthy of our worship and admiration. Jesus, you gave up everything in order to come and die in our place to pay the price for our sins. We are so blind to so much of your generous love for us. Today, we pray that you will help us sort out our hearts so we can come to you with genuine faith and trust just like that of a little child, and ask for what we really need and what you are longing to give us. Amen. Well, maybe take a moment, even now, and sit in quietness before the Lord. Let him ask you the question, what do you want me to do for you? Give him your response, and let his truth and blessing meet you where you are. Let's have a great day.